Welcome to the module on Machine Learning Inferencing Batch versus Real Time. In this session, we will explore the difference between batch and real time inferencing, highlighting their unique advantages and use cases. You will learn how to choose the right inferencing approach based on your application's requirements, ensuring optimal performance and efficiency. Machine learning inferencing is the process of using a trained machine learning model to make prediction on new data. That means you already have a trained model. You are feeding the new or incoming data to get the prediction. In this module, we'll focus on inferencing speed. Let's dive in and discover how these techniques can transform data into actionable insights. We'll start with batch inferencing. In batch mode, we process bulk or large amount of data and typically the machine learning algorithm runs on schedule, maybe daily, weekly, monthly basis. This is also called offline processing or inferencing because we do not get a result instantly. Let's review how this batch inferencing works. Let's assume we have the machine learning model and here we have the users or application. User or application is feeding the data to the machine learning model. The machine learning model will run in a particular schedule. As we mentioned, it could be daily, hourly, monthly, weekly. Once the machine learning algorithm runs, it will generate the prediction and after that, it will parses the prediction into some application, maybe some databases or maybe some other downstream application. Then the user or application will fetch the data from that application where the machine learning algorithm is running. This was the conventional or classical machine learning models that we used for many years. In terms of use cases, let's assume a telecom company wants to predict which customers are likely to leave at the end of the month or if they want to predict monthly churn rate. Or maybe if a retail company wants to forecast sales for their upcoming month, if you have any use cases where you need the prediction in monthly, weekly, daily, or based on the schedule, batch is the perfect way. On the other hand, if you have a huge amount of data set and you are not latency sensitive, in that case, batch is your perfect use case. In terms of advantages, since batch can be scheduled during off-peak hours, it will save resources. That is why batch has the effective resource management. That is also efficient for large data set. And since it is processing offline, it is cost effective. In terms of disadvantages, if you have any latency sensitive workload, then batch is not the right inferencing technique for you. Or if you need real time decision making, maybe like chatbot, maybe self-driving car, obviously batch is not the model for you to go. Next, we will review real time inferencing. For real time inferencing, the machine learning model makes prediction on individual data points and instantly. Real time inferencing is ideal for latency sensitive workloads. Let's take an example. Let's assume we have a streaming data source like a self-driving car and we have our machine learning model. Now the data source is sending continuous data points to the machine learning model. This is called the streaming data and machine learning model also instantly processing the data and generating output for the input devices. In terms of use case, fraud detection. Maybe financial institutions or bank, they can monitor transactions for fraudulent activity. Second, chatbots. Maybe product support companies can put Gen AI chatbots to process the customer's request instead of putting some L1, L2 manual resources. Third, personalized recommendations. An example could be an e-commerce platform provides product recommendations as soon as customer logs in or browsing any product and also 
autonomous vehicle or the self-driving cars that can navigate safely based on the road conditions. Since it generates immediate outcome that is suitable for latency sensitive applications and by this way we can enhance user experience. Real-time inferencing can enhance user experience by delivering instant feedback and personalized recommendations. Real-time inferencing can significantly improve user engagement and satisfaction. As we took an example of e-commerce platform, using real-time inferencing, it can offer personalized product suggestions as user browse products. It can also increase efficiency by optimizing operations and making quick adjustment based on real-time data. In terms of disadvantages, real-time inferencing requires robust infrastructure to handle high throughput. As a result, that is potentially higher cost to operate and it requires continuous operation. Now let's compare real-time versus batch inferencing side by side. In terms of latency, real-time inferencing can generate outcome in milliseconds. However, for batch inferencing, the latency will be in hours. That is why it is applicable for use cases where latency is not an important factor. In terms of data volumes, in real-time inferencing, it can handle small amount of data in terms of megabytes, whereas for batch, we can process in terms of gigabytes or terabytes. In terms of resource utilization, we need 24 bar 7 or continuous running for the real-time inferencing, whereas the batch inferencing requires those resources in schedule. And last but not least, in terms of use cases, Real-time inferencing is ideal for latency-sensitive use cases, whereas for batch inferencing is ideal when we have latency-intensive use case. That means applications are not sensitive to latency. That wraps up this module. I hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals. Thank you very much for watching and learning with us at Cloud Expert Solution. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more update and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments. We would love to hear from you. See you in the next module.